Hi everybody, I'm Paul and this is Jeremy from our Egg Expert crew. Today we have a lot of hardware to work with as you can see. We're going to be putting together a Newegg.com Supreme Combo that includes the best of the best that we have to offer right now. Once we've got everything put together, we're actually going to give away this entire super system via our social media, so stay tuned for that. And for now we got a lot of work to do, so we're going to get to it. The basis of our system is the Thermaltake Level 10 computer case. Also from Thermaltake we have our CPU cooler as well as their Tough Power 1200 watt power supply. For our processor we are using an Intel Core i7-975 processor. We have two ASUS video cards featuring the 5870 GPU by ATI. We have an ASUS P6X58D premium motherboard. It's a brand new motherboard just released to market. Four terabytes worth of storage in our Seagate hard drives. Windows 7 Ultimate. 12 gigabytes of OCZ high performance DDR3 memory. And we also have two LG Blu-ray burner optical drives. brass motherboard standoffs. Yes, they're brass, not copper. The input-output shield. Nibs on the side, with the two nibs on the side of the socket. We were checking the clearance, and yes, we have just enough room to fit it in there. And now Jeremy is going to tell us the right way to apply thermal paste. For him. For Jeremy. Grain of rice method. X pattern. Ooh, X pattern. That should cover the entire CPU die. Push pins. One click. Two click. Three click. Four click. I note there is no up and down movement. That's a big cooler. That's a big cooler. We have set the level 10 on its side. Sort of hung the one side over the edge of the table here. And now we are going to drop in the motherboard tray. We can see one, two, three, four thumb screw ports. Screws. Thermal take 1200 watt power supply. You only plug in the cables that you need. Intake fan here at the bottom, exhaust up the back. Modular ports? Modular ports. Power supply is now mounted to the case. And we're going to run the power cables through this small hole there and back out there so we can connect the power to the motherboard. We are a little bit concerned about cable length, but we actually had plenty of room to plug in both of the motherboard power connectors. So you plug everything into this little block and then you can plug that directly into the motherboard. This is so easy, a cheap Asian gamer guy could do it. <laughs> Things are moving along here. We're just about to install an Intel X25M G2. And then we also have two of these. These are Seagate 2 terabyte Barracuda drives. They are nice and shiny. So we're gonna have four gigs four of storage. Uh, <laughs> four terabytes of storage, as well as a 160 gig system disk on a real fast Intel G2. We removed the optical drive cover completely so that we can access the optical drive cage. And come out through here. I'm populating all the SATA ports. The blue ones are SATA 2.0, the, the white ones are SATA 3.0. USB headers for front panel, HD audio for front panel, and ASUS 5870. Ooh, that's pretty. Play port, HDMI, DVI, DVI. We are sliding the video card in. 
video card is locked. Hi everybody, welcome back. We are now on day two of our build. We're just getting all the power and data cables wired up and then we're gonna power everything on, cross our fingers and hope that it works. And here's a little look at the cable management back here. And now the moment of truth. So if we see flames, it's a bad thing, right? Yeah. It works. We win. Username will be Supreme Winner. It's Windows. We have relocated back to our video room. Jeremy is still tying down cables and getting everything perfect in there. Meanwhile, we have moved on to some video benchmarks. We are running those, and we're going to get some baseline results just of the PC out of the box. We haven't done any tweaking or overclocking yet. And tomorrow, Asus will be coming to visit and they're going to show us some of the new features of their motherboard and maybe their video cards as well because they created the API 5870 video cards that we have in here.